I want to be clear about something. I am not a Nirvana fan. Don't mind the shirt. <laughs> from artofshred.com and I am here with the Fender Kurt Cobain Jag Stang in Fiesta Red. Obviously I am a Nirvana fan. I am a Kurt Cobain fan. Kurt Cobain and Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath are the reasons I play guitar today. But I do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this Jag Stang. Now the originals, this is obviously the reissue, uh, the originals came out when I was younger and, you know, I wanted one, couldn't afford it. So, you know, a friend of mine had one, I would play it in the store every once in a while, things like that. My biggest issue back then and even now is that Kurt Cobain really never played one of these. Yeah, he designed it, he got a couple prototypes from the Fender Custom Shop, but this is not the guitar that he's known for, right? He's known more for Mustangs. Jaguars, even Strats, as well as other non-Fender guitars, of course. So he never played one of these that I know live, even, a, even the prototype. And I've also always been confused why he favored guitars with a trim, because he never used it except when he was just making noise. And it's just a, for me, it's an odd choice, but whatever. And I, I will say, we'll get to it later, really, but I don't, I don't love this style of trim. So why'd I buy this guitar? Well, to relive my youth, obviously. And also the price of these is over a thousand dollars new, but I got a ridiculous deal. So let me break it down. So I bought it on sale for $800. At the time, most fenders at Sweetwater anyway, were also 10% extra off, which brings it to 720. But then Sweetwater was doing $130 in Sweetwater bonus bucks with this guitar, which is basically a Sweetwater gift card that expires in 60 days. So all told, this guitar was effectively $590 and then tax, of course. If you wanna hear about deals like this, subscribe to Riff City, of course, because especially these kinds of deals, they don't come across often and this is a ridiculous deal. You can't really find, you can't find these used in especially excellent condition like this, basically mint condition. You can't find these used for the price I bought it new. That's what prompted me to ultimately purchase this guitar. Speaking of Riff City, there are two unique guitar picks hidden somewhere in the background of portions of this video. Comment the timestamps where you find those picks below and if you want to participate next time, there is a hint in the Rift City email, so subscribe. So like I said, I, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the Jag Stang. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't pick it up very often. It's one of those type of things, right? When I do pick it up, I love it, I have fun with it, but it's not really my, my first choice to, to just grab. And I don't know why that is, but that is what it is. So I will say again, there's nothing wrong with it. It looks great. I love how it looks. Fiesta Red is a cool color. It plays great. It feels really nice. Came out of the box. Didn't need a setup just beyond the intonation. Uh, frets were nice. Everything was nice. It was clean. All of that, like n nothing more you could really ask for as far as an out of box experience. And the pickups, sound really good. These are uh, these are actually Fender Kurt Cobain Jagstang pickups. They're specially made for this guitar, I guess, because they uh, that's what they call them, Jagstang pickups. And a really unique feature about this guitar is 
the switching options. So you have the standard, you can, you know, play either the, the bridge or the neck or both, but you can also play them out of phase. You don't find that on too many guitars, gives you a, a unique kind of sonic option there. And of course I will play in out of phase in the, the sound demo coming up. So, you know, all of that is cool, but it's just one of those things. I just, I don't reach for the guitar too often. Again, when I do, I love it, I have fun with it, but I just don't reach for it often. I will say one thing I really don't like about it, I don't like these style of trims. These are, it's like the kind of the Mustang vibrato. It's called the dynamic vibrato. And I don't love it, but I do love roller bridges. So <laughs> that feels very nice, very comfortable, but uh, not, my, my, not my favorite trim. I generally don't use trim at all. And uh, so I just have it here really just for while I'm making this video because usually I just take it off and, and don't have it on at all. So all that said, does that mean you shouldn't buy a Jagstang? Well, not necessarily, right? But I really don't think this is for non-Nirvana fans. If you're looking for, I mean, okay, so if you're looking for an offset specifically with the out of phase pickups and a, a, a humbucker and a single coil, then you don't have too many options. So this is a, this is basically your option if, if you're looking for that. And as far as that goes, I think you'll dig it. But yeah, this is made for Nirvana fans, let's be honest. So it's probably not for you, but I will say if you are a Nirvana fan, you might consider the Kurt Cobain Jaguar. I mean, he did play Jaguars back in those days. So that's a more, to me, a legitimate signature guitar. I understand he designed this one, he didn't design the Jaguar, but for me that's a more legitimate option really and I was actually going to do something unique with this, if you want to call it unique anyway. So I bought a super distortion for the bridge pickup here because that's what is in the Kurt Cobain Jaguar. He did play on super distortion pickups in uh, some of his guitars. So I was going to replace that and kind of do a, a hybrid Jagstang slash Jaguar, which already it is a hybrid, but let's not split hairs. But the reason I didn't do that is this pickup sounds great. So it kind of defeats the purpose. I'm going to use this for something else, probably a budget guitar. This is actually kind of an issue with just a lot of signature guitars. You know, they're obviously made for fans of that artist and I think it's rare that you're going to find someone who is not a fan of an artist, but is a fan of a particular guitar. Obviously it happens and we don't need to talk about Les Pauls, okay? But uh, obviously it, it does happen. Maybe with the, even the, like the John Mayer Silver Sky, um, you know, a lot of, I feel like not necessarily John Mayer fans do like that guitar, but it's not uh, generally with signature guitars. It's it's made for fans, and I think you know that. I know that. And uh, as far as that goes, though, I I like this guitar. It's just you know it's not my number one. But uh, let's get to some specs and some sound demo and some other stuff like that. So it is a 24 inch short scale, right? Seven and a quarter inch fretboard radius, rosewood fretboard maple neck. These are made in Mexico. It's so obviously, again, it's got that Mustang style uh, vibrato and bridge. Alder body. The neck is a slim C and it is a very comfortable neck. It's glossy. It's smooth. It's, it's, it's thin. It's comfortable. So if you do have smaller hands and for whatever reason, a 24 and three quarter scale length or a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar is not comfortable for you, this one might work. You might know how I feel about the whole small hand, short scale thing. If you're an adult, you probably are fine with any type of guitar. But this is comfortable. I like it. You'll probably like it too. 22 vintage style frets, which uh, for me, I think they're narrow, tall uh, frets. Does have also the vintage tuners, master volume and tone. The switching, I'll explain in just a moment. Oh, and it does come with a Fender gig bag. It's uh, not the best gig bag, but it's not, you know, it's it's got a little bit of padding. Now, let's talk about these switches. 
because it is one of the most unique things about this guitar. Now you can grab the diagram from the Fender website. I'll include a link in the, in the description below. But basically, the way it works is this, this is for the neck pickup. This is for the bridge pickup. Middle position is gonna be off. So right now I have both pickups off. You're not gonna get any sound. If you have, so if let's say, okay, we got the bridge off. If I put this one in either non-off position, that turns the pickup on, okay? Same with the bridge pickup. If the single coil is in the off position, any of these two positions, forward or backward, the bridge pickup's gonna be on. Now, we wanna, do you wanna turn both of them on? You put them facing the same direction. So both down, both pickups are on, both up, both pickups are on. It doesn't change anything as far as sound or anything. That's both, that's the same thing. Now, to get them out of phase, you just kind of do the opposite. So for the neck, we'll keep it uh, up. Bridge, we'll put it down. That puts the pickups out of phase. Or if you move them both to the inside, they are also out of phase. It's literally the same setting but uh, different ways to get to that setting. So a little bit confusing, but once you play with it a little while, it's, you know, it's pretty clear. And Fender does include the diagram on their website to, uh, to make it a little more clear. So as far as that goes, yeah, that is the Jagstang. Not too much more to say about it. Would love to know what you think about it. So yeah, let me know. Is is a uh, is what do you think about signature guitars? What do you think about the Jagstang? What do you think about Nirvana? And if you want to see more videos like this, like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all of that good stuff. It really helps. Really appreciate it. So on to the sound demo. <laughs> Thank you.